What is up, Mathletes? Welcome back to the episode of Math with Dr. Math. And today, we're gonna look at how do we use decimals to see where graphs intersect? All right, Mathletes, so what we have here is we're using decimals, and one of the skills or tools that we need is knowing how to figure out, you know, where do graphs intersect, right? Uh, because over and over and over in math, right, this idea comes into play. And um, sometimes we need to show our work, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just need to find those two points, if there's two points where they, where they intersect, and use that to further, you know, uh, do some math. So here I just want to show you how you could use decimals to either check your work or to actually find uh, those points or that point of intersection. All right, so let's dive in here and let's take a look. So for this first um, uh, pair of functions, well, I'm going to look at linear functions here. So I have 2x plus 5, so I graph that there. And then I have uh, negative 3x minus 4, right? So we could see here that decimals does a nice uh, job here. So if I zoom in, I could just kind of take my best guess here. So I have uh, my little cursor around that point where they intersect. And I click it, and right there it tells me that they intersect at the point negative 1.8 and 1.4. So sometimes, say in an algebra class, uh, you want, might want to find where these two points cross. Right? This is one way of doing it, or at least checking your work, right? Let's say we go to a more advanced class, say like um, second semester calculus course, or maybe the end of a first semester calculus course, and you want to look at these um, curves and these functions, and you might want to see uh, where do these two functions meet? Well, let's look at this next example. So let me unhighlight these and get rid of these. And let's take a look at these two functions. They happen to both be parabolas here, right? So I graph them. And let's say I want to uh, graph the area that's bounded by these two points right here. So let's say uh, that I, I want to look at this area right here. That if I had a highlighter, I would shade you know this area in here. And actually, uh, we could do that. So here, let me do something creative. Let me look at for this bottom function, which is in blue. Let me say y is greater than, you don't have to do this, but just so you could see uh, what area I'm actually referring to. And this one, let's make it y is less than. So this area right here in the middle, right? Let's say we actually want to find this area that's bounded by these two curves. And one thing that we need to do is we need to say, all right, where are we going to start um, this integral, or right, what are our limits of integration here? Where are we going to start and where are we going to finish? Well, here we could see we're going to start at negative six, and that's what's nice about uh, decimals here. You could easily see where it starts. If you needed to do this by hand, it's quite easy as well, right? We would just set these two functions equal to one another. And since in this case they're both parabolas, you would just move everything over to one side, right? But again, I just want to show you how fast this is using decimals. And then if I hover over here, I could see that they, the other point of intersection right here is at 2 comma 67. But again, I would most likely just be interested in these x values. Uh, and again, you understand why if you're in that class. All right. So again, um, using decimals, it's quite easy to see where functions uh, intersect. And well, what happens if we get into some crazier functions? That's when decimals is even more helpful. So let's look at our last two examples. Let me unhighlight these. And let's look at, say we have this line here, but then we have an exponential function like this, right? This would be much harder to see if we were doing it by hand. Uh, you need logarithms and it, it would have like a nasty decimal. So again, decimals does a great job. If I just scroll in, I zoom in and then take my best guess here and hover over that and we can see that the x value right there where they intersect is 4.503 and it's that easy folks so i just want to give you a short little tutorial of how to use decimals to see uh, where functions intersect so hopefully you found that helpful again make sure you give us a like subscribe and tell your friends about what's going on here in dr math studios talk to you next time peace